Hey guys, in this problem, I have a parallelogram. I know that because both sides have these arrows, which mean that they're parallel. And in this problem, it's wanting me to find some of these different missing um, lengths as well as some of these different missing angles. So essentially what it wants us to do is to solve a whole parallelogram, meaning we're gonna find all its missing angles, all its missing lengths, and that should solve for that. If I have everything, I should be able to fill out all of these. All right, let's try it. You might wanna have a calculator handy as you do these problems. Uh, first off, I'm going to take care of all these different orange lengths. And to start off with, we know in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are going to be congruent. So this would be 22, this is 10, this is also 10. Okay, we also know the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other, meaning that one cuts the other one in half, and likewise, so does the other one. So here, if this is 9, the other half is also going to be 9. If this is 19, this is also 19. Okay, this half and that half would be the same. Um, I think that is all of the lengths that I need. Now let's turn our attention to the angles, okay? So with this, um, we can remember a few things. First off, since this is a parallelogram, these two sides are parallel to each other and they're being cut by a couple different transversals. We learned about that last semester. Now that gives us alternate interior angles. Or in other words, if this is 36 degrees, its alternate interior angle up here is also gonna be 36 degrees. Similarly, if this is 17 degrees, down here is also 17 degrees. And then you can add those together, right, 17 plus 36, and get 53 degrees for this entire angle A. All right, when I'm talking about the entire angle, I like to put that on the outside, whereas the different parts I put on the inside here and here. Okay, if this is 53, we have the opposite angles theorem, which says that the opposite one is also 53 degrees. And that would make sense because those are the same two numbers that we would add together to find those. We also have the consecutive angles theorem, which says that if this is 53, this has to add up with the 53 to equal 180 degrees. So if I take 180 minus 53, that would be 127 for all of angle M. And its opposite is also 127 degrees for all of angle T. Okay, now it's helpful because we know this is 98 degrees. So again, if I take that 127 and subtract 98, oops, 127 minus 98, that gives me 29 degrees left over for this leftover spot down here, 29 degrees. Okay, these both have alternate interior angles, kind of like these ones did up here, but these ones are gonna have alternates over there. So if this is 98, it's opposite side, oops, 98. 98 degrees, if this is 29 degrees, it's gonna be 29 degrees for its alternate interior angle. Okay, we have almost every single angle filled out except for the ones in the middle, okay? So if I think of these as kind of four separate triangles being cut by those two diagonals, I would have a triangle here, in the top, the left, and the bottom. Uh, let's look at this right side. This is a 36, 98, and we're missing this angle right there. I'll put a question mark. To figure it out, I know that triangle has 180 degrees. So I can do 180 minus 36 minus 98. And that gives me 46 degrees left. All right, so here this would be 46 degrees there. And it would have a vertical angle of this one also 46 degrees. Okay, then those form a linear pair with the one that's missing by this down here by the S and up above it at the top. So again, since that's a linear pair, we can do 180 minus 46, giving us 134 degrees there and there. And just to double check, uh, let's take like this bottom one, for example. I should be able to add up 134, 17, and 29. That should give me 180 degrees. Let's see if it works. 134 plus 17 plus 29. Yes, it does, 180 degrees, okay? So now I think, if I'm looking at this correctly, I'm pretty sure all of our angles, all of our lengths are accounted for, so we can start to fill out some of these different missing ones over here. All right, so stick with me, let's try to do this, HT. Well, you just have to find the letter H and T, that's 22. Once you get all filled out, these are pretty easy to fill in here. Um, next it wants MH, let's see, MH is 10. HS, HS is 19, and MT, MT is this entire length, so the nine plus the nine is 18, okay? Now onto some missing angles. 
SAT, the hardest part is kind of finding which vertices we're using. SAT, so S, the A is up here and the T is down there. So SAT is talking about this angle, the 36 degrees. AHT, AHT, so that's the 17. And the MAT, let's try to get out of your way here. MAT, that's all of angle A. Remember that's on the outside, we call that 53. Uh, HTA, HTA is all of this angle T, 27, 127. Uh, MTH, MTH is this bottom part, 29. Um, AMS, A, where's the M? M and S, so 29 again, that's the alternate interior angle to that one right above it. TSA, uh, TSA is 46, and the last one is MSA, MSA is 134. Now, could you find some of these, these are all degrees by the way, could you find some of these angles without finding everything? Yes, you could, all right, and sometimes if you only have to find one or two, that might be helpful. However, if you have to find a ton of them, you might want to just solve your parallelogram, meaning you find all of its missing lengths, all of its missing sides, then you can just go through your picture and fill in every single thing that you have, and that should find all your missing answers.